so what I did was I started here and then I went so this was what we were following isn't it yeah and then I went to here and then I kind of so uh, then so I cut yeah, that... over and then this is Derwent edge isn't it so I kind of cut over and then I went up yeah, and then the... I dropped down to and the free stones is somewhere like here so if yeah you go... yeah this path isn't shown on um the ordinance survey there so that's the free stones isn't it it's like kind of... yeah 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 so that's seven miles. So that's held an edge. That's held an edge there. Yeah. Marjorie Hill. So there's a path that cuts across over from here. So just need to make sure we hit that, otherwise we've got to come all the way in and then either try and cut across here. Through there, through there, up to the grass spots. And then follows this up. And then through that contour. And up. So that's what we're gonna be that's what we're gonna to need to look out for. It should be quite easy to find because we'll have that split. Which should be obvious. We'll be able to see round hill over to our right. Catch this. Have we forgotten to take you on a walk? First things first, before we go on a walk, I am going to make sourdough blueberry pancakes from this amazing ebook I bought called Staying in the Book. It's like a compilation of different chefs who have put together recipes for lockdown and it's um, all donation based, so you donate to a charity. today so I'm filming another little vlog. We've actually had some changes to the lockdown restrictions here in the UK so we are now allowed to drive to exercise and we are allowed we are allowed to exercise as much as we want throughout the day. In a way I think as an outdoors person these restrictions or like these loosening of the restrictions don't take into account the local communities of the people who live in national parks. I'll probably chat more about this later as we're walking, but um, we're being very kind of respectful, I guess, and responsible, which I know a lot of other people are, um, so we're not driving up to the Lake District or anywhere else. As you know, we live like 10 minutes away from the Peak District, so we are staying kind of in our, in our area of the peak as well so we're staying in the north where it's a little bit quieter a little bit wilder and we're actually really excited to explore this area more as well so but we are going out on a really long walk today <laughs> um we're actually doing a 15 mile walk uh across the moor down to derwent reservoir and we're gonna check out slippery stones which is a swim spot it could be a little bit busy there although it's kind of a cloudy day so i don't expect it to be that busy but yeah i'm pretty excited we just had some sourdough pancakes uh for breakfast oslo is desperate for a walk i wish i could tell him sometimes that on the weekend he has to wait a little bit longer for his walk but then we're going to be walking all day long so because it's going to be yeah 14 miles it's seven miles there seven miles back um so it's going to be a pretty big full day walk uh we've got a picnic that we're taking with us lots of snacks and we'll take you guys along with us Give me it's just your eyeball isn't it yeah give me the pancakes give <laughs> me the pancakes <laughs> was that your tummy Oslo that got, he gave you a shock please please take 
me on a walk. <laughs> I will show you on the map later um, exactly what kind of route we are doing but I'll just tell you quickly so we're currently walking um, towards Flint Hill so on this quite we're wide on, we're on Flint Hill. oh we think we're on yeah we're on Flint Hill yep. now and then um, we're gonna kind of bear right and head over across Howden Moor onto Howden Edge which is further north than Derwin Edge, so Derwin Edge leads into Howden Edge, but we are, yes, yeah, so we're much further north than, than Derwin. I actually thought we were walking on Derwin, so I got that wrong. Um, and then that leads up to Marjorie Hill, which will be our high point. We are either going to stop there, have a little bite to eat somewhere sheltered, or drop down to Slippery Stones. We made it onto Howden Edge. It is really cold. <laughs> well, I'm cold. Yeah, um, the wind's cold, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah, it's biting. I wish I brought some gloves, but I'll just chuck my hands you can use my in buff my. If you want. I'll just so put my hands in my pocket. You can put uh, my buff in your pocket, and then it's just an extra. I'll just put my hands on Oslo's ears. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so warm. I might keep them under control a little bit. <laughs> I'll put my hands. He's got to get nuts oh, with scent. Okay. Yeah, Oslo was going a bit, um, a bit mental over the moor because he... He gets a hair scent. Yeah, hairs and... Yeah. yeah I, I mean, it's hair. Mostly really. just hairs, yeah. Look, he doesn't seem bothered by grass at no, all, No, not birds or sheep or anything. You just love bunny rabbits. <laughs> Must have forgotten it. Did we? Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. What's this, Osley? What's this? Sit. Wait. 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 Go on. Then. Good boy. Mm. He's like, what's next? <laughs> okay, you can have that as well. <laughs> and Harvey and I have leftovers from last night's dinner. Ah! 
leftover sourdough pizza. Yum. And we're sat on the banks um, of Slippery Stones. Well, Slippery Stones is just up there a bit. It's very pretty here. So I just thought we would show you where we have come on the map and where we are going to get back now. So we're using OS Explorer map OL1, which is for the dark peak. And um, we're on the north sheet. And we started here at, um, on Mortimer Road, which is on the Strines, basically, not far from where we live. And we walked all the way along this track up to Flint Hill and then down here and now Harvey actually drew this pencil line onto the map because um, the path isn't on the map obviously but um, I checked the Ordnance Survey website before coming out and this track was on the website so it's kind of it's very rough isn't it yeah it's basically I think where they've taken aerial photos, they've picked up on the 4x4 four four tracks that yeah. across to the grouse butts. So we were kind of following this 4x4 four four track and we actually ended up, instead of doing this, we actually ended up kind of just going diagonally across the moor a bit more. Mm. And then this here is Howden Edge. So we walk north up Howden Edge to Marjorie Hill. And then... What? Yeah, we could kind of... We could kind of freestyle this because we knew we had this catchment. Yeah. We knew that we're, you know, we could walk sort of west northwest. Yeah. And we'd hit this edge, so it was kind of a safe, a bit of a safe bet. There was paths all over the place. Yeah. You might want a drink. Yeah. I was always trying to get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so from Marjorie Hill, we then drop down through this valley, and we are now at Slippery Stones here, just having a little bite to eat. And we had planned to go back the same way, but we now think that we are going to walk along the reservoir. This is Howden Reservoir. Um, down to Howden Dam. And then take this track up to Howden Dean, Howden Moor. All the way up. And then we will join this path here where we started and then just walk back this way. So kind of making it into more of a cir circular route. So I, I don't know how far that is, but I'll show you. I'll write it in the description when we get back um, and we work it out. Kind of freestyling it because it's a nice day. Yeah, we were kind of like set off and we we're like, oh, you know, we've got a few different options for what we could do. So yeah, that's good. That's lovely. Like uh, I've never been to this part of the peak before. And uh, that's wild, isn't it? Mm. It's lovely. Yeah. Stars overhead turn my We are just walking up Howden Clough now and I'm in such a good mood. <laughs> it's so beautiful here. I feel so lucky to be able to come walking out here. Um, I feel like this area is a bit of a lesser known part of the Peak District. It's kind of got that Kinder Scout feel about it where it feels quite wild and barren but there's just no one here. Whereas on Kinder, you'd have like a trail of people. Rightly so, because it's so beautiful. There is really just no one here. It's just so nice. And uh, yeah, I think it's definitely useful to know how to navigate if you're coming up to this part of the Peak District because there's not a lot of signposts. Some of the tracks are quite vague. It's just a little bit more, a little bit more wild, a little bit had a little bit less human impact but we really like that it's been a really really nice day out i think i'm feeling especially happy because it's my first hill walk like proper hill walk in a while i don't know how long um but yeah we've just been out walking all day and it feels really nice as well not to have anything to rush back for i've just been saying when i get home i'm gonna have a bath and watch a film we're gonna have something 
tasty for dinner. Um, probably won't get home till about half five, six o'clock. So it's just been a full day of walking. So I'm very happy. Oslo is definitely even happier than I am. <laughs> this is his favorite thing to do, absolutely. So we've made one little dog very happy today. <laughs> so nice. Bye.